We are currently in the beginning stages of developing our homestead. The plan is to have a fruit orchard, a food farm, and a lot of beautiful flowers. Therefore, we are going to be needing a lot of water for all year round irrigation. So, we built an almost 20,000 liters underground water tank or water reservoir to allow us to store water on the land and this is how it went down. Hi, my name is Koriwa. Welcome to Life After Oz. We recently acquired a piece of land which we intend to turn into a self-sufficient and almost off-grid kind of homestead. And if you watched my previous video, then you would have seen us clearing a portion of the land which we intend to develop into a fruit orchard or fruit farm. But the dilemma is, this land is in a completely undeveloped area. It's virgin land. Not barren land, but virgin land, as someone rightly corrected me in my previous video. And so this area is not yet connected to the city or town water grid. And since this area is not yet developed, it's going to be a while before this would happen. But that's okay, because we want to be as off-grid as possible. So the obvious solution is to drill a borehole on our land so that we will have our own water source for irrigation. Water needed for building the structures that will be constructed on this land and really water needed for living. And so that is what we intend to do. And hopefully the quality of water we get should be good to sustain us here on the homestead. But before the borehole happens, we decided to construct the first of three water reservoirs that we intend to have here on the homestead to store the water that we will collect from our borehole so that we can get irrigation going ASAP. Now, most commonly here in Ghana, polytanks are what is used on most residential properties to store the water pumped from boreholes. This here is a video of the polytank that I currently use here at my getting started home. However, for the homestead, we decided to construct a water reservoir on the fruit farm side of the property to irrigate the orchard instead of using a polytank. But we will use polytanks for the water that will be fed directly into the house once it's built. So again, that is the plan. So the project at hand today is to build an underground water tank for water storage. Underground because 1. It will be much more durable being underground. 2. We don't want any bulky and sightly water tanks on our homestead. And 3. The water tank can store a lot more water than the poly tank. So we got started by mapping out the dimensions and then getting the excavator to dig out the hole that will become the site for the underground tank. By the way, I'm not very conversant with the names of these machines and I get corrected a lot in the comment section. So let me know if you know what this particular digging machine is called. Is it a payloader, excavator, bulldozer? <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so Francis, aka Abodre, is the gentleman who What's built it? this tank and I must say that I am very I'm impressed with his work and will definitely recommend him. If you intend to build a water tank of this sort anywhere here in Ghana, definitely use him. And so I'm happy to leave his contact at the end of the video and also in the first pin comment in the comment section below. Also kindly like this video now so more people can see it. I appreciate it. Thanks. The next day we came to the land bright and early. We had had construction gravel and sand delivered the day before and ironically we needed water to be able to build a water tank. And since there isn't any water currently up this hill, I brought two old barrels from home and contracted my now good friend Isaac the tricycle guy who is from the area to fetch water with gallons from uh, neighboring streams to fill the barrels up. So that is what we did. Wow, <laughs> Isaac. 
Isaac has been a lot of help from getting me water and other essentials up the hill to even carting the workers in his tricycle to neighboring towns at the close of the day to be able to catch a taxi or chotros home. If you are doing any kind of construction here in Villa City, then do well to contact Isaac to run errands for you. I will leave his number also in the pinned comment, comment below. But now that we have the water tank constructed, we don't need water brought to us daily. In the future, we can simply use the water in our newly built tank, not only for irrigating our farm, but also for constructing the various buildings that will go on our land. And that is why constructing this tank first on the homestead was so necessary. So, Mr. Abodris, <laughs> Mr. Abodri got started straight away by making a ladder that him and his boys used to get in and out of the tank. They then had to manually level the hole that had been dug and clear it off any excess um, loose stones or debris. They then made a dry sand and cement mix and tipped that into the hole and then topped it up with the stones and proceeded to mix the concrete down in the hole as opposed to mixing it up above ground. And that concrete was then used to make the first level of flooring in the water tank. Once the concrete flooring was done and left to dry, it was time for the block work to commence. So we had the blocks delivered to site and again Isaac helped with that as well. To make the job easier, Abadri and his crew first piled up a lot of the cement blocks in the hole and then the wall started to go up. And very soon the walls were done and sticking out above ground. Now, with these kinds of tanks, it is essential that the walls have some form of reinforcement to prevent the tank from breaking down by the force of the water contained within the tank. And one way of doing this is to position rebars or iron rods as they are called here in Ghana all around the walls and floors of the tank before plastering is done. But for this particular tank, Abodri opted to build a wall in the middle of the tank which serves as a support for the two walls, a bit like an anchor. And then he created a door below to enable water to fill up both chambers of the tank. He also added rebars in the corners of the tank and poured in concrete mix to fill that up, as well as he did a second level of flooring at the bottom of the tank after plastering was done. So a lot of reinforcement was provided. However, if you are building your tank and you prefer to use the rebar option, then that is good too, probably even better. After that came plastering of the inside of the tank and the second flooring that I mentioned earlier. As for me, I spent most of my time walking the land with my head in the clouds, dreaming of the day that I will be actually walking through my orchard, picking organic fruits and eating them right there and then. 
<laughs> anyway, I digress. The gentleman then got to work backfilling and compacting the soil around the outside perimeter of the tank, after which we needed to pause for about two weeks to allow the tank to properly cure and dry out completely before continuing with the top bit of the construction. So after a couple of weeks, we were good to continue and we bought some planks of wood which Abodri used to board up the top of the tank. Then the steel benders came and secured the iron rods into place before the top concrete was poured and the gate or door to the tank was fixed. And voila, a couple of weeks later, that too dried out completely and we had our underground tank. So the borehole has not been drilled yet so to test out the water tank I decided to buy some water from these local water tankers to see how the tank fills out and also to measure how much water the tank actually holds. Now, just look at how lush the area that we cleared only a few short weeks ago looks now after we added the manure and other nutrients advised by Garden Boy. I know my orchard is gonna be wow. <laughs> Again, about this details is showing on the screen now and is in the comment section below. And for those of you that are building in Villa City, Isaac's number is there too. Like this video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next.